Hi and welcome to another Leveb special from Swedish Startup Sessions. I'm here with my co-host Harriet Weber from Denmark. And uh, last year on this very stage, uh, the startup competition winner Waze actually got a 25 million US dollar a round, round of finance on their second day of Leveb. Mm. And they went on later to be one of three competition winners. But we have a problem. We have a problem, yeah. And the problem is that there aren't really any Scandinavian startups here. Well, there are one that is present in the competition. But apart from that, we don't have any Scandinavian startups from Denmark or from Sweden or Norway in or the Finland. competition. It's or Finland. Just little is Iceland that's here with one startup. And we also have seen that uh, last year Ireland were here with a big delegation presenting their startups and this year we have Belgium and we have Switzerland. Switzerland. Yeah. Yep. So hang on to listen more to Packing gas to wait hard, you ain't living in the garage. Sweden, fly overseas, clear use a G. Please believe this ain't Sweden. Witness a massacre in Middle East to Africa. Bet you be thanking God. This Sweden, I'm flying to all you ain't struggling at all. This is Sweden, you ain't packing gas, you ain't hard, you ain't living in the garage. This is Sweden, fly overseas, clear use a G. Please believe this ain't Sweden. Witness a massacre in Middle East to Africa. Bet you be thanking God. This, this is the Swedish Startup Sessions. Good morning, my name is Kamal Zakoni. I'm working for the Belgian Walloon government uh, in an agency which is named Walloon Telecommunication Agency, which is an entity of the government in order to promote innovation, promote technologies, and indeed promote enterprises and startups. Yeah. One of these. You, you uh, last time, uh, last year at Lavev, the Irish uh, gang was here with a lot of startups. And have it been, been hard for you to get uh, this kind of collaboration between startups and between? Uh, just pinpoint one of my, my, my key arguments that makes four years I'm at the Lingle Web in order to discover what was the content. We have really identified that it is really the right place for inter internet enterprises in order to show up. First of all, indeed, it was not easy to let a government understand that it's the right way because it's a new one, it's not 10 years old and so on, or not famous like some others. And thanks to the help of other governments, like Irish, you mentioned, who did some some steps like yeah. getting a stand. I told you four years we are getting here and it's the first year we finally convinced the government to get sponsored this booth, the Belgian Web Committee booth, and then we've got seven or uh, nine startups here on the stand. That's great. Uh, because I mean, uh, Belgian startups is not quite, I mean, Belgium is not known for startups. Indeed. First of all, Belgium seems not to be known for startups because Belgian people at the early stage are not people who really like to show up. You know what I mean? But I can tell you that we've got a lot of great startups. And just to mention one part, in the south part of Belgium, 65% of our ICT sector is made of companies developing software. And most of them are also in startups. And last but not least, maybe we are not why we are not really known across the world, and that's why we try to change over here, is probably because we don't have a lot of VCs, business angels, or, or funds or things like that. We just have a few of them not known worldwide, but we have a couple, couple of them. And uh, to tell you the truth, these have also understood that the web is a place to spot on and to show up with their own funded companies, reason that we are here. So what are your goals for being here at Leveb? The goals, I would like to say, are, are threefold. The first thing is to change your remark, which is Belgium is also a land of startup. First goal. Second goal, of course, the goal for the government itself, to prove that we are a land where we have innovation, where we have enterprises who have, let's say, smart ideas. And last but not least, that there is a potential to invest in those, so that government also invests in some. I can give you some examples if you'd like. Last year, we've got an international company, an international startup who was searching to find a place where to locate concretely their companies. After a few discussions, they decided to set up their company in Belgium. They've got around 1 million funding. 
from the government. So things change. Secondly, prove to the government that there is a potential that they need to invest and that they need to showcase. And third of it is, let's say, for the startups themselves, giving them a kind of step to a stage where they can have an opportunity to showcase who they are, to showcase the innovation, to showcase their capabilities, which are, I would like to say, the same like if they were in San Francisco. We're back here at the main hall of Le Web, and next year, have yet. Surely we want to see a Danish or a Swedish startup in the startup competition as a finalist uh, next year. I'm really, really surprised that the Danish startups and the Danish governments haven't uh, been showing any initiative to actually represent their startups down here, as well as the Swedish and the Norwegian, because it's a priceless value to these companies to actually get some funding and get the startups going out there in the world, and giving them a lot of really, really good feedback, both from venture capitalists and other participants. I mean, this is the heart of web in Europe these days. And I mean, it's not cheap. The Belgian delegation told us that they spend around 25,000 euros for their six or seven startups, including the booth. And that's not really something you spend uh, as an individual startup, uh, especially not this central booth where people can come and see you and discover you, uh, and you actually get a mark uh, coming up. Um, and. Uh, Next year, we will, I, I really, really want to see a Danish or Norwegian or Finnish or a Swedish startup up here in the startup company. Yeah, so this is not a raised finger, it's more of a plea to the government saying, please represent the internet or the, the webs, <laughs> the, Danish, yeah. the because, Scandinavian web at the web. Yeah, because this is what where the jobs of the future are created.